welcome back to our series, Unlikely Heroes of the Bible. So throughout this month, we have been looking at people who are not as popular as others, but still play an important role in the Bible. Today's lesson is actually the last lesson of this series, so I hope you're ready for it. Last week, we looked at a girl named Miriam. She didn't let jealousy control her. She let love guide her ways, and she was able to save Moses. Today, we will be looking at a man named Barnabas. He was a faithful servant of God and loved preaching the word to everyone. Because of his willingness to help, Barnabas was able to help a new believer with his walk with Jesus. Our story today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 1 to 31. We will be learning the importance of letting others know that we are children of God through our actions. So why don't you grab your Bibles and let's dive into today's story. Slapstick Theater Paul and Barnabas This is Paul Rawr. who once hated the followers of Jesus and would do anything he could to stop them from telling others about the good news of Jesus. But Paul met Jesus in a miraculous way and his life was changed forever. Wow! He went from hunting down the followers of Jesus to being one of them himself. Yeah, all right. When Paul was in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers there. Oh, I got way up. But they were all afraid of him. Oh, man. They did not believe he had truly become a follower of Jesus. Damn, huh? Come with me. Then a man named Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told them about how Paul had seen the Lord and how the Lord had spoken to Paul. Yeah, it's true. He also told them that Paul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Hey, okay. So Paul stayed in Jerusalem with the followers of Jesus. He told many people about Jesus and they came to follow Jesus too. Paul and Barnabas went to do special work for God. Yeah. They preached the good news about Jesus in many places until they both went separate ways to tell others about Jesus. Isn't Barnabas such a great friend? Because he was a follower of God and knew about God's love, he was able to recognize a fellow believer. But before we get any further, let's break down our story. So in order to understand the importance of Barnabas in the story, we're gonna have to take a couple steps back and look at the life of Paul. You see, way back when, Paul was actually known as Saul. Before Paul accepted Jesus into his heart, he was a really bad person. He hated anyone that believed in Jesus. Saul hated them so much that he would often hunt down believers of God and take them to be trialed and even killed. One day, when Saul was going to find some believers to arrest, a bright light from heaven shone right on him. He heard a voice that said, why are you hurting me? That voice was Jesus. Jesus wanted to know why Saul was hurting his people. When the bright light finally went away, there was something different about Saul. Saul couldn't see. He was blind. After three days, God sent a man to Saul, and he put his hands over his eyes, said a prayer, and then once he took them off, he was healed. Saul was shocked. He knew that only God can do something incredible like this, and he immediately became a follower of Christ. Don't you love it when people get to know God? Yeah, me too. When Saul finally accepted God into his heart, he decided to change his name to Paul. He really just wanted to leave his old life behind him. But it wasn't as simple as that. He might have changed his name, but people still knew who he was and what he did. You see, every time Paul wanted to hang out with other followers of God, they would get scared and run away. They didn't believe that someone as bad as Paul could change his life. And this is where Barnabas comes in. You see, Barnabas recognized that Paul was a changed man and that he truly did love God. So Barnabas decided to take Paul to the apostles to show them that he truly was changed. Okay, you're probably wondering who apostles are. Well, apostles are special people chosen by God to share his word. Barnabas told the apostles about how Paul would preach the word of the Lord and show his love towards every single person that he met. After this, Everyone believed that Paul was truly a follower of Christ. Barnabas and Paul continued to share God's word to everyone. They even went on to do many missionary trips. 
Okay, I know, you're probably wondering what a missionary trip is. Well, a missionary trip is when people volunteer to go to an impoverished country and help those in need. And the best way to help others is to tell them about God. Because of Barnabas' good heart and willingness to help others, he was able to vouch for Paul's love of God. No one would believe that a man who hunted God's followers would then become a follower of God. That's the beauty of God's love. It has the potential to change our lives completely. When we let God's love and mercy into our heart, we become a brand new person. We want to help others and love others like he did. We want to be just like Jesus. But this is not always apparent. Let me show you an example. Here I have two cups of water. They both look exactly the same. The only difference is that one has sugar and this one has salt. The outside appearance may look the same, but the insides are complete opposites. This is the same thing with people. We might have transformed our hearts, but we still look exactly the same. When people accept Jesus into their hearts, for the most part, they still look the same. They might get a new haircut or start dressing differently, but they do still look the same. I'm pretty sure we all know the sayings, I'll believe it when I see it, or actions speak louder than words. Because of all the sin in the world, it's so easy for people to lie about their lives. This is why it's kind of hard for people to believe you when you say that you have changed. It's hard to take their word for it, especially when this person is known for doing wrong things. This is why it's so important that we let others know that we are children of God through our actions. If Paul continued to treat the followers of God badly, do you think Barnabas would have believed that he was a changed person? No way! Barnabas knew that Paul loved Jesus every time that he shared the word of God and through his desire to be friends with other believers. Throughout this series, I've mentioned several ways that we can be like Jesus. Do you remember any of them? We can be like Jesus by letting others know about his mercy and love, by being kind to others, by not being jealous, by standing up for what is right. I can go on and on and on. There are so many ways that we can be like Jesus, and almost all of them involve actions. You see, if Jesus had to pick between showing his love or telling people about his love, he would definitely want to show it. We can be like Jesus through our attitude and our actions. If we want others to recognize that we are children of God, we have to try our very best to be like Jesus every single day. But being like Jesus can be difficult sometimes. I've said it before, we're human so we're flawed. But don't worry, here are some ways that you can let others know that you are a child of God. Number one, always show God's love. The easiest way to let others know that you are a child of God is by loving everyone. In 1 John chapter 4, verses 7, it tells us that we should love others because love comes from God. But here's the catch. When I say we have to love everyone, I mean everyone. We have to love our family, our friends, and even people who are not nice to us. Yeah, you heard me right. It's easy to love people who are nice and kind to us. But it's not so easy to love people who are mean and rude to us. But we all know that God sent Jesus to die on the cross for everyone because he loves every single one of us. When we show love towards others, we are giving them a little taste of the love that God has for us. Number two, help others whenever you can. Throughout the Bible, there are so many stories where we can see Jesus helping others. He healed 10 lepers, he was able to feed over 5,000 people, and he even calmed a really bad storm. In fact, the whole reason that Jesus came down to earth was to help people get to heaven. He did this by paying for our sins. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 16, it tells us to shine our lights for others to see Jesus through us. Now we may not be able to heal people with diseases or bring them back to life, but we can help them with their everyday basic needs. This can be as simple as giving money to a beggar, or helping your classmate with their homework, or even just holding the door open for someone. It's those small acts of kindness that really go a long way and touch people's hearts. When we help others expecting nothing in return, they will realize that there is something different about us. And that's Jesus. Number three, let others know about Jesus. The easiest way to let others know that you are a child of God is simply by telling them who God is. We saw it in our story today. As soon as Paul accepted Christ into his heart, 
He couldn't keep the good news of God quiet. He wanted to let everybody know that God turned his life around. In Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 to 20, it tells us to make disciples of all nations. And if you remember a lesson from a couple of weeks ago, we learned that a disciple is someone who learns from Jesus and shares his word. God wants so us to share his word with everyone. When people hear the good news of God, they will have no reason to doubt that you are a child of God. Hey boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson. The most important thing that I want you to take away from today's lesson is that we have to let others know that we are children of God through our actions. It's one thing to say something, but to do it is the real deal. Not only did Paul stop his evil ways, but he also started sharing the good news of God. This week, I challenge you to let others know about God through your actions. Remember, this can be as easy as sharing his love, helping those in need, and just telling them about who God is. There are so many things that you can do to show God's love. Before we wrap up today, I wanted to take a moment to say a little prayer. This is probably my favorite part of the lesson because we get to talk to Jesus. So are you ready? Let's say it together. Dear Jesus, thank you for this time that we have spent in your word. Thank you for your never ending love and mercy. Come into my heart and help me to be like you. Help me to remember that others should know that I am your child through my actions. I know I'm not perfect, but help me to be like Jesus every day. I love you so much. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you just said that prayer, you just made Jesus really happy. Last week we ended off by saying that we shouldn't be jealous of what others have and that we should lead with love. This week, let's be like Jesus by letting others know that we are his children through our actions. All right, boys and girls, that brings us to the end of our series, Unlikely Heroes of the Bible. Hope you had as much fun as I did and remembered all the good stuff that we talked about. But don't you worry, this is not the end. Next week, we are going to be starting a brand new series. I am super excited, so I hope you're ready for it. As for now, I think it's a perfect time for a stretch and a snack. So why don't you go grab a snack and come back for family discussion.